the benefit of America is they have all the different variations as well. And bang as well, right? Bang, yeah. Bang as well. You got loads. Absolutely loads. We're good. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is travel day. I'm here with my boy, Loki. He's come all the way over from uh, Copenhagen. We did say, remember we said when we left with Hader, I was like, I'll get you back over. Yeah. It was it's a little bit later than it would have been, but we're going on a little road trip. So uh, this was uh, this was supposed to be a Gasp, Luke Miller, Dallas road trip. Um, and then obviously I've just uh, taken over Kate's, uh, Kate Arrington's prep for the Arnold's. So she's doing fitness on Friday at the Arnold's Ohio. So we're, we're gonna tag on Ohio first, spend three days there, watch the show, uh, meet up with some people. Gasper there as well, so we'll get to see the Gasper guys. And then uh, there, are, there are also quite a few UK guys there, so there'll be a lot of familiar faces. And then we're gonna go from Ohio and fly down to Dallas and spend the week with Luke, um, the chap who's doing the seminar with us, so no switch fitness, Luke, Luke Miller. Um, you might have seen him from uh, J3 University with John, John Jewett. We're gonna go and stay with Luke for a week in, in, uh, in Dallas and train with him for that week at destination and do some really cool stuff, uh, do some really cool stuff in Texas. So um, this is gonna be a part vloggy type series and uh, just part, you know, just capture some, some cool experiences and take you guys along the journey with us. So um, I'll try and include some kind of informative bits through the process and then um, just some just some cool bits to watch that you guys can, can be a part of. And Loki's food tour of America. <laughs> He's never been <laughs> yeah, to America. Yeah. <laughs> feel like his dad. That's the only reason I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, uh, we're getting picked up in like three hours and going down to Heathrow. So we'll, uh, we'll take you guys along the, uh, the trip with us. Piece of clothing. <laughs> they actually ask you for that at the border, and if you don't have it, they don't even. Chuck, 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 chuck. It's so thick. It's like drinking paint. Yeah, man. 
Right, so we are uh, about 10 minutes away from uh, Heathrow. Um, we've, got one, we've got one connecting flight, so we've got Heathrow to JFK, and then we've got like a 90 minute wait at JFK, and then we're gonna go JFK to Columbus. Um, four days in Columbus, three days in Columbus, and then we fly on Sunday to Dallas. Um, Kate's checked in this morning, it's like five hours behind in Ohio, so she checked in 6 a.m. her time, it's like three hours ago. Uh, it's like 9 a.m. there now. Um, she is on stage, so pre-judging is on Friday for her at 12 o'clock. Uh, and then their, their night show, the routines, is on um, at 7 p.m. So basically they'll have, with uh, with fitness, they'll have a pre-judge, which is, uh, I guess, from a from an outside perspective, kind of like figure mandatory comparisons, um, where they'll have call outs and they'll they'll be based on uh, physique uh, and and condition and muscularity, uh, fitness less so from a from a conditioning perspective relative to something like figure. You need to be quite careful with that, uh, pushing the look too hard. But the girls, their girls are in phenomenal shape. Like a lot of the the top girls are, are hard and dry, so there is an expectation there that you need to hit. Um, but muscularity-wise, not too full-on in terms of in terms of size. I think Kate, because of the fact that she is obviously non-enhanced, it probably does play to her advantage a little bit in, in the in the fact that she can come in sharp, but she's not going to be over over muscled in the category. Uh, you look at a lot of the girls like Missy and Ariel in the class; they are quite heavily muscled, so there's going to be a gap between there, and it just depends on what they're going to go for on the day. If they do go for a a slightly fuller, more muscle package, then we're gonna have a hard time. Um, but I think for for Kate this year, it's uh, it's a little bit of a redemption from from her part in terms of the fact that you know I, I spoke to her before the Arnold's last year. We didn't work together, but um, I spoke to her before that show, and I think the 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 kind of the the, the, the thought the thought process from the Arnold's last year, the Arnold's UK for her was she just wasn't happy with the package she brought and I think a lot of the variables that could have potentially gone right in that prep didn't go her way and a lot of that was based on stress and uh, there are things, you know, those are the exact variables we've we've really worked hard to, to put right in this prep, keeping her in a position where she's recovering, keeping her in a position where, you know, you've got to think from a fitness perspective for a lot of these girls, it's not just the training they're doing in the gym, they're gonna do gymnastics work, they're gonna do routine work, and this is hours and hours and hours added onto the week, alongside cardio, alongside training sessions, so it's a, it's a lot of work on the body, and it's a, it's a fine process, it's a delicate process to manage that, so um, basically in terms of the check-ins, what she'll do, and this is something that any coach that you're working with online clients, if you're getting video check-ins from clients, get them to send you the videos on either an email um, or via SMS, via text message, because if you send it through WhatsApp, it will degrade the quality of the video quite substantially. So every morning she'll check in, she'll send me her visuals, like these are from these are from this morning now. Um, she'll send me a, her check-in visuals and I'll basically just get them on text. I'll take them onto the computer. Because it's on a text message, the quality doesn't degrade and condense on WhatsApp. And then we basically fire over the updates for, for the day. It's, for, it, it's the first kind of, higher day for her this week she's obviously on stage on friday we've run relatively low into the week and we've pulled down to a new low this morning of 123 pounds so she's lost a pound and a half across a long haul flight yesterday so last night when she checked in and she got to the hotel she was carrying a little bit of fluid you could see a little bit of fluid on her legs relative to before she left in the in the uk that morning but being stagnant, not doing you know usual expenditure on the flight, and obviously long haul flight and time zone differences and changes in sleep patterns and fluid balance, you can expect a little bit of fluid there residually. Uh, we did a little bit of uh, light intensity cardio last night um, just to get the body moving, uh, and I'm just using herbal diuretics with her, so the likes of dandelion root, uva ursi, a couple of other things, vitamin C, a couple of other things, B vitamins that we're just in our control there that we can help manage and, and process. Uh, and process and manage that fluid balance extracellularly um, to bring a slightly drier look. She checked in this morning, everything's perfect. Um, so first hire day today, putting some food in. She's got five meals, so she's basically got the plan today that will basically map out what she's doing with her food, what she's doing with her electrolytes, sodium and potassium, what she's doing with her water, 
uh, and any other supplementation we're adding in across today with those uh, those S extracts that will help us balance fluid. Um, and then we're just gonna take it meal by meal uh, across the day and just check in before each meal, send the next meal and then move forward. So she'll have five meals. Um, because I think an interesting point here is, especially for a female, and a, a lot of figure girls are gonna be like this and a lot of bikini girls to an extent, um, you know, match your loading strategy based on the musculature of the client. And if you're in a position where you're coaching male bodybuilders and you're also coaching female athletes, do not expect to be able to peak them in the same way. Do not expect them to be able to require the same level of food, the same level of water, the same level of electrolytes. This is stuff that's gonna to have to be done on a trial and error basis. And to be honest, I haven't been working Kate, we haven't been working with Kate long enough, for really us to experiment with a lot of these things. So this is now me kind of going off you know, an informed, educated decision as to how I'm pulling the different variables right now. Um, but I've got a pretty good idea of how I want to run this and I think everything's going to move pretty smoothly. Um, but, you know, just a take home message there for the fact that if, if, you, if, you, if you're loading a, a heavyweight bodybuilder on 600 grams of carbs two days before a show, don't expect to do the same amount of, amount of uh, you know, variables for a female athlete. You need to, you need to match their requirements with their level of musculature and the condition that you're trying to bring into, into the class as well. Um, so it's, a, it's an intricate process and it's an individual process as well that needs that tailoring. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll crack on with this across the day. We're like five minutes away from the airport now, so um, nearly time to fly, bruv. You're flying the plane, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm the pilot. <laughs> Loki's the captain. Captain Loki. Captain Loki and co pilot Callum. sponsors. I've just blown Lockie's mind with the Wagamamas. <laughs> His exact words were, this is the best thing I've ever tasted. So I think he's lived a quite, show he's lived a quite show in life. Not kidding. <laughs> He's never been outside the house. <laughs>
Chicken or pasta, cow? Chicken or pasta? <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> she really had me a bit loud. She's just coming back on the door. <laughs> he didn't answer me. Yes, me. <laughs> I just still sniffing. <laughs> what was the What was the saying in a? Uh, That's a long teaser man. That just means long speak and baby. It's that. Good. Better than the bread roll. They, um, they give you these just in case your window's dirty. Why <laughs> 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 are you in the window? Hey, let's be out Just smash the window. <laughs> That's something I've seen a bottle, closest like that. Something quite satisfying about. One done, part two. Begins in about 90 minutes. You get in the end? Quarter, you got a quarter pound of a cheese? Uh, a double bacon or something, I'm pretty sure. What's up? We are, uh, we're in Columbus. Um, time is 1.37 a.m. I don't know what time we would have left. We've probably been up for 24 hours now. Yeah. Yeah, it's 7 a.m. at home, so yeah, we've been up for 24 hours. Um, and I'm about to start work. <laughs> now I've probably got like two hours left and I'm done. Um, so yeah, game plan tomorrow. We'll probably go and film a training session. Uh, I th I'm pretty sure the expo starts tomorrow as well. Just let me double check. Arnold's expo starts on Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Expo starts tomorrow. 
I'm also 30, by the way. I've just turned 30. Just Congrats, just man. <laughs> Congrats, you old, your old pal. <laughs> <laughs> just realised the time. Uh, yeah, we'll probably we'll probably go and walk around the expo for a bit tomorrow then. Check in, Kate. Walk around the expo, train. Go and hire a scooter. And, yeah. <laughs> and drive that around. Scoot around Ohio. <laughs> scoot around Ohio. Um, but yeah, travel wasn't actually that bad in the end. That was quite easy. We were um, we were on the same flight as uh, the Stoltmans coming over for coming over for uh, the strongman, which was um, which was cool. So had a good chat with uh, with Luke. No idea how we managed to get more leg room than them, considering <laughs> they're like the two of the biggest men on earth. But yeah, that was that. But yeah, pretty that was pretty easy easy journey to be fair. So um, day one starts tomorrow. And uh, we'll get this uh, we'll get this trip started. So um, we're gonna do a little bit of little bit of each day, and I don't know how we're gonna. This is probably gonna be vlog one, and then we'll just add to it as we move. And uh, there'll be a lot of training stuff with uh, when we go over and spend some time with Luke next week on Sunday. And next week we'll, we'll get a lot of uh, training stuff and um, some some educational stuff done there as well, which which will be exciting. So. Yeah, exciting. Um, anything you guys want to ask, drop them down in the comments. Probably not not in this video because there hasn't been really anything to ask about. But <laughs> apart from that baby I'm crying much. on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a wrap. Day one, travel day done. Day two coming up. Peace.